Hello everyone, I wanted to do a video on how to hook up a VESC based controller into a Zero 10X scooter with twin 1200 watt motors. So you have to be prepared to pretty much gut everything out of the scooter and start over with the wiring. But it's pretty easy. So what I did is I first got this U-Box V2 box from spintend.com it, it has two vest controllers in it A and B, one for each motor and they both have separate hookups separate USB ports etc so what I did is I hooked up the two motor connections so like this is the front motor three phase wires hall sensors hooked up into the hall sensor port right here Pretty straightforward, same thing with the back wheel, motor, hall sensors, hooked up into here. That's pretty straightforward. What's different is I got this little throttle adapter from them, which allows easy hookup of throttle and brakes, and it allows you to set up or to select 3.3 or 5 volts to be applied to the throttle. And here it also has a switch where you can hook up a proportional brake or just a normal switch brake. I hooked up a normal switch brake because I don't have a proportional hall sensor brake. So what I did is I've got a pretty cheap throttle from eBay. This one it has a key. Thumb throttle, I like thumb throttles. There's a wire going down the stem, and this wire comes out to here. And we have your hall sensor signal cable, power, 5 volts, and ground. And that goes into here, into the throttle input. The other side of that is the brake cable. So this comes down from here, the brake levers. So when you hit the brakes, it shorts out this wire. It shorts these two connections, which tells the box that you are braking and to apply regen or just some braking current if you need to. That's gonna be plugged into right there. But right now I have to route it through the deck first. So this board right here connects to you can connect it to either side of this u-box i chose the left side because it's just closer and easier but all it needs is five volts ground adc1 is connected to the throttle to green and adc2 is hooked up to the brakes so adc1 will see a variable voltage input and ADC2 will be just shorted or not. On the same harness, now you don't have to do that, but on the same harness, I chose to add an external display. So I spliced in some wires to a crude USB connector to go to RX, TX, 5 volts, and ground, four wires. And that goes up to this nice, the Vega display. So yeah, this cable goes up to the, the Vega display that I have mounted on the handlebars. And this shows you all sorts of cool stats. This will show you the speeds, uh, watt hours per mile, the temperature of the uh, MOSFETs, which is pretty important in the summer at least. Lifetime stats, session stats, miles per hour, how many minutes you've been riding, motor amps, which is pretty important to watch sometimes. Watt hours remaining of the battery. Anyway, you don't have to do this. I just wanted a cool display since you can't use the stock display anymore. So you need something to see how fast you're going at least. Let's see if we can turn this off. So that's one side, which has the throttle adapter and the display. You don't have to do display, you can just do this adapter. Or if you really want to, you can just hook up these wires directly into this header. But I just found 
easier to use this because it has all sorts of cool adjustments. The other side of the desk is simply used for the uh, Bluetooth adapter, which is this right here. Just a simple $30 adapter that allows you to make adjustments from your phone on the fly, which you will have to do a lot of in the beginning stages when you're tuning this thing. So that's all there is to it. It's just motor hookups, the battery, which, you know, this has an XT90 connector, so you'll have to make an adapter. This is a stock battery for the scooter. And uh, some motor, hall sensors, throttle, brakes if you need to, a display if you need to, and Bluetooth. That's all there is to it. If you want to run lights, this box has a 12 volt output right here. So I've used this header to power all my 12 volt accessories. I have a bunch of lights on the scooter. You can see LEDs moving up and down in the deck. And of course, that's how you would power the built-in lights that come with the scooter. Hmm. Well, that's about it for that. Uh, pretty simple. Just make sure you know what you're doing. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will answer most of them.